Thank you so much, Zoe. Well, you know what? The year is still fresh, and if those New Year's resolutions are still in your mind, you know what? We're going to help you try and stick to them. Now, if you've made reading more books one of your resolutions this year, then some brand new South African work is a great place to start. Two brothers, Pumlani and Lisa Lomzi Pikoli, have each published books in very different styles that share vivid experiences of life in Zanzi. Bustling cities like Johannesburg become stimulating canvases for the different kinds of storytellers who live here. Two of them are brothers, who have each released books that capture life from the perspective of young black creatives. What drew me um, into writing um, and to follow it as a career um, was the fact that I'd been doing it since I was seven years old. Um, and I just couldn't stop, like it was just like a part of me. So what drew me to art um, as a career and to pursue it as a career um, it was just like positive reinforcements um, from, from family, obviously. And I guess like, it's just like you naturally are drawn to certain things. I was just like a, the kid who carried on drawing and, and was lucky enough to get edged on, you know. Um, and I think in, in we're very really lucky in that way that we were just pushed to carry, to pursue our interests in that way. Writer Pumlani published a collection of short stories titled The Fatuous State of Severity, while visual artist Lisa Lomzi etched murals into a book. My book uh, has a long-winded title. It's called Man Like Mountain of Memory and Scar. And it is a book of graphic expressions that I've uh, created over the last three odd years. I was doing a lot of traveling. You see so much beauty, but then you're also kind of reminded about, okay, find the realities of what we're actually dealing with here. We all have like a history. I mean, when you have a scar, it's either a bad memory or it's a good memory, but either way, a scar means that you're healing, and that's, that's what it's about. Well, I suffer from severe depression and anxiety, so while I was in the clinic, I decided to get, to actually just write a series of fictions. And so I got a lot of friends, some of South Africa's greatest illustrators, to contribute um, their interpretations of some of the stories um, in, the, in the collection of short stories. These works came together with the support of the Keleketa Library, an educational space that invites media creatives to showcase their work to peers and learners in Joburg's inner city. Lisa Lomzi Bigoli's book, uh, Men Like Mountain, uh, Memory and Scar is a publication which at Kelegetla Library we've been engaging with for three years, two years or so. Um, and the illustration inside are quite amazing for us. And then the idea and the message that they're trying to translate also, it, it relates to sort of our spiritual content in, as African kids going to the mountains and realizing all this narrative. And then him breaking it down to all the four seasons um, in how it carries um, it's narrative throughout the four seasons and then how he, he did the installation also into the space. It's quite an amazing publication. From Lani Piccoli's book, The Future State of Severities, the book includes short stories um, from experiences, personal experiences. For him to actually do the whole publication himself again in relation to his brother um, is quite a, an amazing feat. So it's quite interesting how all these brothers include a lot of different kind of artists in realizing all these kind of uh, ideas and philosophies and doing it in an interesting publication. And it's very, very much important for us to host these two brothers in this space. The brothers also took the opportunity to collaborate with the Kalashnikov Gallery in vibrant Bramfontein as a way of making literature and art more accessible to other young people. Shows like this come together because of collaborations, as you can see. This is a group show that's inside, um, and my brother's also a part of it as a writer, and it's really cool to see galleries extend themselves to like the more literary side and coming together with visual artists. Super stoked that people turned out and uh, keen to buy the book. So it's just really crazy. And, uh, you know, again, it's a collaborative project. So everybody involved has been super, super supportive. And that's all I can ask for. From beautiful illustrations of a man's memory and relationship with nature to tales of depression, love, and survival, the fresh storytelling by the Piccoli brothers echoes a voice of a generation.